today's video from Komak Island in Thailand. We have today and we have tomorrow before we head back to Chiang Mai. And today we want to go explore another island called Koh Kham. It's supposedly really beautiful. We are at a place right now called uh, Komak Resort Pier, which is where we arrived a few days ago. Um, and we have to jump on a long tail boat to go to Komak Island. We just bought our tickets right in here. There is a uh, like, Komak information point and we paid 300 baht each. 100 for the boat uh, return and 200 is an entrance fee to the island because it's actually a private island owned by like some wealthy Bangkok dude. Now we're just waiting for the boat. We stocked up on food and snacks because you can't really buy anything there, we heard. So we just bought like a massive loaf of bread. Uh, so that is gonna be a very, very boring meal of the day. We're just so excited to go see Kokam. Matthias is sorting everything. <laughs> Water, the bread, towels, I think we're ready. Snacks. Snacks. So this is a map of Komak Island and we are right up here right now and we are sailing from here to here. And this is Kokam Island. It's actually only a kilometer away and you could kayak there but we don't have a kayak here. We don't want to kayak all the way from our resort. I think this is our boat. So many people for a very small boat. <laughs> the waves are crashing onto the sand. The stars and the moon are standing hand in hand. The winter nights go by so slow. The lonely nights as cold as the snow. So these are our tickets, maintenance fee card. I think we have to show them to someone. Maybe that guy or this girl. So we just got these two slips back and we can have a drink. Check out this place, this is so cool. This is a paradise island, that's for sure. The boat ride took about 10 minutes, so that was really quick. And uh, now we're just walking around trying to explore the island a bit. I think these are police officers and so we will not be sending up the drone right now. The sand here is perfect. It's just white and powdery and oh, it's really nice. We don't really know a lot about this island so far. We've seen two beaches. There may only be the two. The one that we arrived at is like very, very beautiful and uh, everyone is there right now and then there's this beach behind us which is also really nice but the other one has um, volcanic black rocks I don't know if we can even get around here beach is amazing. We just went in the water and we've been there for like 30 minutes, I don't know. It is so nice and these black rocks are incredibly beautiful. I want to get some, get some snacks, fuel up and take some more pictures because this is uh, definitely Instagram island. Found our own little private beach here. It's very tiny. This far, I just feel it. This is truly where I belong. Making my way down Ocean Drive, hung over people pass me by. I know they feel it. Yeah, they feel the way. Oh my goodness, this island is just so beautiful. We left Kamak at 10:30, and I think there's a boat back at 1:30, which I maybe that's already gone. Um, and then there's like uh, 3:15 and 4. 45. We're really happy that we came early in the day so we have time to just relax and everything and take the pictures and get the video. Um, yeah, so definitely try and get an early boat unless you just want to relax on the beach. Maybe three hours is enough for you. It is just so nice. We tried walking this way uh, away from the beach 
to see what was on the other side of the island. Uh, don't, don't bother, don't waste your time doing that. There's just trash. Uh, the cleaning fee, I guess, goes to something else than cleaning. <laughs> Definitely not maintenance. Well, maybe like beach maintenance, but that's it. going to get the free drink we are about three hours into our Kokam visit and we have about three hours left so it's a good time for a break <laughs> for a break we're on like a paradise island we don't really need to take a break but we have a voucher so Matthias borrowed a snorkeling mask from someone and now he's out there I've never really tried snorkeling except uh, in swimming pools when I was like eight years old. But uh, this area should be perfect for it. So you don't have to like really sail out, just come out here and snorkel about. Just talking to a girl, the one who lent Matthias a snorkeling mask and she found like some like... She saw stingrays and fish and everything, corals. It's really nice. I'm just walking around a little bit and there's almost nobody here. This is just so nice. You get some very nice beaches in Komak as well, but this is just better. Matthias is done with his snorkeling for now and I want to go out here because the tide is out, or whatever it's called. The tide is low, so the water is really shallow here, so you can just walk all the way out. And I want to get some pictures. We just walked up to one of the houses. Sorry, I'm so sweaty, it's so hot in here. And oh my goodness, would this be amazing if they finished it? There's like a huge room out here, such a high ceiling, and then there's a kitchen. No, it's no, a bathroom. Ah, it's a bathroom here. Look at that, just imagine. Oh, that would be so nice. But just imagine staying here, waking up. To this view and then fantasy pool right there oh that would be so nice but you would definitely need AC it is so hot I think we're going down again this island is so nice 300 baht is pretty expensive for Thailand so we almost didn't go over here but I'm so glad that we did even though it's like way more than we usually spend on stuff like this if you can only spend three hours out here, I would actually choose to come in the afternoon, not the morning, because most of the people come in the morning, and now most people have gone back to Komak, and we're just almost all alone on this island. put up the drone again and it's just so fun there's a seagull so I was a bit scared I was gonna chase the drone it was like a few meters away so I tried sport mode for the first time went a little crazy with that but yeah this is this is just a perfect place because we have this beach all to ourselves so we aren't really annoying anyone we have to leave this island in about 45 minutes so now we're just gonna get our last free, free drink, drink. <laughs> and gonna chill out on the main beach so apparently the last boat is already I think it's earlier than it should be, but I don't know, but we have to leave. <laughs> I think I want to stay here tonight, but the houses are not ready for us. That's a shame. Yeah, but I want to stay here. I want to live here. 
It's so beautiful. I've been a bit. It's only 4.10, so I don't think it was supposed to leave before like uh, 35 minutes. But the boat is here now. Well, the captain left the boat, so we're just sitting here watching the boat. We don't want to get stuck here, even though it's a nice island. If you plan on coming here in the afternoon, just remember, you may have to leave before you expect. Or not, I mean, it's just, it's just lying there, waiting. How's it going? Pretty good. What are you finding? Maybe. There is like sand everywhere. Maybe I should just stop. As you can see, we are on the scooter now and we are on our way to a place called Banana Sunset Bar. We saw the beautiful sunset at uh, Banana Sunset Bar and now we are at a place called Brick Oven Pizza to get pizza and I gotta say if this pizza tastes as good as it smells this is a perfect place look at this pizza Papunka yeah. you have mushroom and green pepper and I only have just a margarita with garlic oh Looks so good.